Let me ask you about this news that uh, Speaker McCarthy has formally launched an impeachment in, or has said he's going to Oh my God, really? Oh my gosh, you know, oh, it's devastating. <laughs> Ooh, don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh no, oh no. Holy crap. Fetterman is in full panic mode because of the impeachment. Um, this is the right wing Russia gate. Big corruption on the Hunter Biden side. Rational reasons to be concerned about potential links to his father. However, after a five year investigation, we've turned up Russia gate levels of evidence. Reason to be concerned, just like with Russia gate, but a lot of smoke, not so much fire. What's going to be interesting is to see all the people who were talking about the January 6 hearings being theatrics. It's going to be interesting watching the silence of every single person who was talking about that was theatrics. A hearing where most of the witnesses presenting the evidence were Republicans. It doesn't get any more legit than that. When you have the accused team telling on themselves. In this case, what do we have? A Russia Gate level teasing for five years. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, the Kraken is coming. Right, that kind of stuff, right? Just wait, just wait, it's coming. Oh, if you've seen what we've seen, show us what you've seen. Well, you know, it's confidential. The party that wanted to impeach Biden before he even got in office. The party that's hungry for blood. Let's arrest some Democrats. The party that had a lot of power to make such things happen. But for some reason, we don't see Democrats arrested and charged. Logically, one would assume that that's because they have Russiagate level evidence. P tapes, P tapes. Mm -hmm. There is some legit like fishy relations between Trump and Russia and then the campaign's meeting with Russians. The Russians are actually trying to interfere with the election. This a lot of smoke, it looks bad. But dig and dig and dig and dig and just not really seeing much stuff. Very concerning behavior that should not happen. And there should be laws changed to prevent it from happening. Democrats, why didn't you do that? But ultimately, it was oversold. Overpromised and underdelivered. Hunter Biden investigation, overpromised and underdelivered. Will all the people that critique the January 6th hearings that was so solid that the Department of Justice got involved and we see the results? Indictments. They were able to con convince grand juries and judges, even Trump judges. Russia gate? Not so much. A lot of talk on media when it comes to actual fire. Not so much. Hunter Biden? Lots of talk on media. Lots of promises. But who's going to jail? Who's indicted? Clearly this is legit theatrics. But watch every single person who called the January 6th hearings theatrics. Be silent and pretend as if this is legit based on the fact that there is an inch of legitimacy to what's going on. Hunter Biden being so corrupt and being the son of the sitting president is a legit risk to the country. What would a father not do for their son? If you have a very corrupt foreign country that has direct access to the son of the president of the United States, I will say to you, as a veteran, this is a security risk. Is there any fire? Don't know, but it's certainly concerning. Just like Russiagate was concerning, but again, we dig and dig and dig and dig, and the end result, similar to Hunter Biden's situation. January 6th, on the other hand, again, most of the evidence was coming from the team that was accused. DOJ got involved, grand juries, Trump judges got involved, and then we see what? indictments, further confirmation of the things mentioned in the hearing, showing without a doubt that that hearing was legit, not theatrics. Even if the Democrats 
took advantage of the hearings and used them for partisan reasons. That is secondary. The core of what was doing, what was being done, and how it was being done, right? We didn't have a Jim Jordan situation. Speak of the former president on January 6th, did you talk course. to the former president before, during, or after the attack on the Capitol? Of course I've talked to the president. Three. Of course I've talked to the president. I've been clear about that. I talked to him all the time. Of course I talked to the president. I talked to him that day. I've been clear about that. I don't recall the number of times. Was it before, during, or after the attack on the I talked Capitol. to the president after the attack. So not before or during? Right. Okay, and you would... Uh, and you I've been clear about that. Did you talk to the former president that day? I've talked to the former president of team times, thousands, I mean, I mean, not thousands, I mean, times, countless, countless times. I talked to the president. I never talk about what we talk about, because I just don't think that's appropriate. It's like I don't talk about what happens in Republican conferences. So sure. I've talked to the president numerous times. Uh, I continue to talk to the president. No, no, since no I mean, on office. January 6th, Congressman. Yes, I mean, I've talked to the president. I've talked to the president so many, I can't remember all the days I've talked to him, but I've certainly talked to the president. Did you speak with President Trump on January 6th? Yeah, I mean, I speak. I, I spoke with the president last week. I speak with the president all the time. I spoke with him on January sixth. I mean, I talk with President Trump all the time, and that's that's. I don't think that's unusual. Uh, I would expect members of Congress to talk with the president of the United States when they're trying to get done the things they told the voters in their district to do. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of amazed sometimes that people keep asking this, but of course, I talk to the president all the time. I talked to him, like I said, I talked to him last week. On January sixth, did you speak with him before, during, or after the Capitol was attacked? Uh, I'd have to go. I. I, I I spoke with him that day after, I think after. I don't know if I spoke with him in the morning or not. I, mean, I, I just don't know. Uh, I'd have to go back and, I, I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know uh, th that when, when those conversations happened, but, um, but uh, what I know is I spoke with him all the time. And if right, we didn't have a bunch of Democrats in there. <laughs> Trump is fascist. <laughs> no, we had Republicans saying some really bad things happened. I saw it with my own eyes. That's what we saw. Right? We didn't get a bunch of promises of, oh, it's coming, it's coming. No, they delivered. People really close to the president, under oath, declaring that some very, very bad things happened. That's what we got. Not the innuendo and, oh, we have to investigate and we got to see this. <laughs> like we've been seeing for Hunter Biden. Like we saw for Russia Gate. Might there be something concerning that they find out through impeachment? Perhaps. Would I be shocked? No. Would I deny it? Would I be like, oh, this is just a Republican? No. If you got the evidence, show it. I want to get rid of Joe Biden just as much as you do. This is Baby Channel. Debate me in the comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Be well.